वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट वीडियो वी डिड सिंपल एपिडेमिक मॉडल ओके एंड इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोसीड फॉर सिस मॉडल सिस मॉडल मीन्स firstly you have some susceptibles and then those susceptible will become infected and those infected will again become susceptible after recovering okay this is the main basic thing of this model ki firstly jo in pe aapko doubt hai they will become infected and again after being infected and recovering they again become susceptible that is you again have doubt on that okay in this model firstly we need to know ki at what rate your susceptibles are increasing or decreasing and at what rate your infected persons are increasing all right after knowing that we have some differential equations and after integrating those differential equation uh, we will get ki in the last how much or oh, how many people are infected okay and in the end you will get that all people are infected clear now let this is the model which you have in this model let susceptible susceptible persons becoming infected susceptible persons become infected at a rate proportional to si at a rate proportional to si susceptibles are becoming infected and infected person again becomes susceptible at a rate proportional to gamma i at this rate persons are getting infected and at this rate persons are becoming susceptibles so your differential equation you have ds by dt ds by dt means rate of change in susceptibles at time t is equal to is this see this is decreasing susceptibles become infected plus gamma i see after removing this alpha sign we have constant of proportionality and this is equal to say now you just tell me ki if susceptible persons are becoming infected that means number of susceptible persons is decreasing now that's why we have negative constant here because susceptibles become decreasing when they become infected and again from infected person when they become susceptible again at this rate then susceptibles are increasing that's why it is negative and it is positive because this because of this it is decreasing that's why negative constant and because of this it is increasing that's why positive constant clear similarly for di upon dt because of this susceptibles are becoming infected at a rate proportional to this that's why it is positive and infected becomes susceptible if infected becomes susceptible that means ki number of infected persons is decreasing that's why negative of gamma i clear you must need to think why we are having positive sign and why we are having negative sign if you clear this portion then there is nothing to do we just integrate now this is your equation number 1 and this is your equation number 2 with initial conditions ki st plus n it susceptible plus infected at time t are equal to capital n and initially s nor plus i nor equals to s nor plus i nor initially their number is this now from 2 what we will do from 2 what we have di by dt equal to beta si minus gamma i what we will do if we have two variables and we want to integrate that we make it first in one variable by the help of this equation you can find value of s and you can put that value there okay so from here what is the value of s we have value of s is beta s is n minus i into i minus gamma i this is your function beta n i minus beta i square minus gamma i okay 
what we have from here ki beta n minus gamma i minus beta i square let's say this is some constant k so k i minus beta i square i can write this as k minus beta i into i in the end we have this function all right so what i will do i will just integrate this function and before integration what we have we can we don't have any general formula to integrate this directly so firstly what we will do we will convert this function using partial fraction okay now using partial fraction you have di upon dt here now using partial fraction what you have in t firstly we will write this in some standard form k minus beta i into i is equal to integration of 1 dot dt plus constant of integration c now uh, as we did in simple epidemic model using partial fraction we will separate this now what we have 1 upon me k minus beta i into i i am going to use the partial fraction okay that's why i am writing like this is equal to a upon me k minus beta i plus b upon me i you have this function so a i plus beta k minus b this is b k not beta k it is beta b i okay is equal to 1 now integrate uh, equating the constants and the term having i on both side if you integrate equate the coefficients of constant and i on both side what you will get you will get b equals to 1 upon k and a minus beta b equal to 0 so from here you can put the value of b so a equals to beta upon k clear so can i use this here after using here here after putting the value here you can put this value directly here so i am putting directly here so you have uh, integration of first is a by k minus beta 1 value of a is beta upon k okay k minus beta i in plus what is the value of b value of b is beta by k sorry 1 by beta 1 by k into 1 upon i this is your bracket with respect to i you are integrating this term equal to t integration with respect to t plus log of c okay now from here what we have if you integrate this term you will get beta by k into log of k minus beta i and in denominator in integration you put the value in denominator in denominator coefficient of i which is minus beta clear minus 1 upon k log i equal to t plus log of c this is your term now we can cancel this beta with this oh it is negative it is positive na okay now from both terms on left hand side i can take 1 by k common and you know log of a minus log of b is equal to log of a by b i can use that formula here after using that formula what i am having 1 upon k is constant okay now i am using that formula ki log of a minus log of b is equal to log of a by b so log of a minus log of b log of i by me k minus beta i i am having equal to t plus log of c now this imply uh log of i upon me k minus beta i is equal to k t theek hai this is constant this is constant so you can adjust this constant log of c इससे पहले जो हमने किया था आई हैव इरेज दैट वी डिड बिफोर ठीक है इन द एंड व्हाट वी हैव वी हैव वी शिफ्टेड के ऑन दैट साइड एंड इन दिस साइड वी हैव लॉग ऑफ आई बाय मे 
k minus beta i okay is equals to k t plus log of c i have and taking anti log on both side what we have i by me i divided by k minus beta i is equal to c dot e to the power k t clear now from here what if we have we have k equals to k minus beta i c e to power k t shift terms of i on one side i minus actually plus beta i c e to k t k c e k of t clear now from here what i have 1 plus beta c e to k t i have taken i common is equal to k c e to k t now shift this term on right hand side it will go in denominator of right side k c e to k t upon me 1 plus beta c e k t this you have now from here what i will do i will take e to the power k t common and cancel from numerator and denominator both so i equals to e k t in numerator you have k c and when you take this term common from denominator it will here it will come e minus k t i'll show you how it will come plus beta c this term you have now how this term is coming here see if you multiply this term on this bracket what you will get e to the power positive e to the power negative and power is same they will cancel each other and zero come will there e to the power zero will come there which is one plus beta c e to the power k t okay if you open this bracket you will get this term so i equals to k c upon me e minus k t plus beta c and if you take limit taking <coughs> limit as t goes to infinity infected person at time t is this and when you take that limit ki t goes to infinity t goes to infinity means that you are taking in finite time after in finite time just as time increases what will be the number of infected persons we are going to calculate that so i will become limit you are taking t goes to infinity kc as it is upon me e to the power minus infinity e to the power minus infinity you can write this as e to the power infinity this is infinity and it will equal to Zero. So first term is zero, and from here it will come beta c. Cancel c with c. You have i equals to k by beta as limit goes to limit t goes to infinity. That means infected persons becomes constant. Infected persons become constant when you take your time infinite. okay this is your sus model susceptible infected and susceptible model we add time t goes to infinity your infected persons will become constant okay this is the proportionality constant which we have considered earlier and k is beta n minus r uh, gamma that is your k so infected persons become in uh, sorry infected persons become constant at the end and this is your sus model If you have any doubt in this model, simple epidemic model and SIS models, both are very important model. And in general practical problems, uh, they don't show exactly data to us. वो इतना ही show करते हैं कि how many new cases are coming every day. They don't show कि in last time uh, this number of people have came from that this people are. getting infected still now and these people are recovered like that they don't show us the complete data they just show ki how many new people are coming there okay in practical life this model is modified little bit but in this theoretical form we have this model and if you have any doubt you can comment okay